Alright lads, how you all doing? My name's Sister here bringing you some Battlefield 3. This time I'm playing some Rush on Grand Bazaar. We are defending, but the reason I put this up is because I thought it was a, actually a nice little uh, clip of gameplay here. Because I don't really have much gameplay saved at the moment. I have a load of games played, just I need to look through and see what's the best. And it's difficult, it's time consuming and I just don't have time. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, so uh, right now I'm not actually at home in Ireland. I'm actually in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam on holiday. And this commentary is actually pre-recorded, so I won't be talking about like current affairs or anything. At least don't that happened in the last week or so. <laughs> but yeah, I'm over there with my girlfriend for seven days, so I try I throw this commentary up for you. Um, I don't even know if it'll appear in the sub box because like it's been privatized since like last Tuesday, and I'm only putting it up now, so. I don't even know if it'll appear in the sub box because it's that old, but if you come onto the channel and check it out, then fair play to you because these are the guys that really love me. <laughs> but yeah, in this uh, game I'm using the L85A2, it's the second assault rifle uh, that comes with the Back to Karkin DLC, I'm sure you've all seen it. And if you haven't actually unlocked it yet, um, please go out and do so, you know, it's probably my favourite assault rifle in the game at the moment, that and... Uh, what other one do I really like? I can't even think. <laughs> I really like the M16 as well. Probably my two favourite guns there, yeah. And, um, yeah, but this gun is really good. Um, I know a lot of you are using the FAMAS, and you that have asked me to use the FAMAS, and I'm just like, no way, I don't like using that gun. And, uh, with good reason too, I just, I don't even feel that it's overpowered. It's such just because I'm no good with it. Like, I hold down the trigger and the recoil just goes off insane and I don't know, at long range it seems to be quite dreadful. And you know me, I'm a bit of a pussy for actually getting in there close to the combat, so uh, this is where the L85 excels because at close range it's not very good. The like fire rate is a bit slow, which means they're probably going to connect their bullets before you connect yours to them. But at medium to long range, uh, with the slow fire rate, you'll find out that's very good because the like time between shots and stuff it gives it gun a small chance to reset and which means it's quite accurate as you see in there even you know you just you just need to be sensible you know don't be messing around with the trigger but because as you can see here i'm about to oh i died but i'm okay <laughs> but um yeah geez <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting confused again. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk to you about is I was reading through like some like weird news articles, and uh, this actually amazed me. Like this is the one that stuck out and amazed me. There was a Swedish man found last week. Let's just say February nineteenth. Yeah, a Swedish man found last week in in Sweden, but he was in a car crash in the snow. And he managed to survive in his car since the 19th of December. What the fuck? Like, that's two months in his car. You know, just snowed, trapped in there. And, and like, experts don't even know how he did it. They all assume it's a big hoax. But, like, the rescue crew are ensured that he's been in there. You know, they said something about a, the human body can go into a state of hibernation. Kind of like, like other mammals do. And... <laughs> He go into a state of hibernation, right? And his body temperature dropped down from 37 to like 31 degrees. And the body adjusts to that. Like the rest of him adjusts to that. So his body will function as normal. And he won't be using as much energy because his uh, body temperature is so low. So he was able to survive in the backseat of his car in a sleeping bag for two months without any food. Um, I'm sure he had water. He was able to melt some snow or something. But even that can't be good for you. The amount of cold water that you'd be drinking there. You need something hot in you, man. You know, you, that's why I carry a cup of soups around and just sit on them. You know, and then when I fart, they'd be nice and warm and bubbly. So, like, I'll stop talking now. In case you didn't know, I'm addicted to cup of soup. Delicious. But anyway, I thought that was amazing that a Swedish man, like, crazy Viking bastard, was able to survive in his car for two months living on nothing else but, like, you know, the food in his belly already. Probably a fat bastard or something that had like a thousand like 
bags of chips or something like <laughs> the weeks coming up to the crash and he was like well stuffed for it's a hibernation you know so maybe he's a cheating bastard i don't know uh let me know what you think about that uh sorry like not regular uploads i'm hoping in the next few days some dlc information i'll get that out to you as soon as i can as soon as they put it up ea are just being complete bastards at the moment <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, this has been Hysteria. Thank you very much for watching. If you came onto my page to look for this video, because it's absolutely savage. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I should be back um, next week, next Saturday or so, and I'll have more stuff for you then. Thanks very much for watching.